Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and the Incredible Hulk, Last Call. This is a one-shot, and that's the worst part about the entire comic book, is that there's, there's only one shot. Nope, needs to be a whole lot more. Let's talk about who made the comic book. I'll talk to you about why you need to buy this comic book. Writer Peter David, penciler Dale Keown. Okay, two birds, one stone. That's why you need to buy this comic book. Wait but it, it continues. Uh, a whole bunch of people on this. Let me just throw out the, the inkers are Mark Farmer, Mark Deering, Walden Wong, and Scott Hanna. Colorists, Peter Stegerwald and John Starr. Letters, VCs, Corey Petit. Cover artist, Dale Kiwong and uh, Peter Stegerwald again. Um, variant cover artist, Adam Kubert and David Curiel. And one more by uh, Jung Jen Yoon. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, of course, created the mother effing Incredible Hulk. Bruh. All right, so Betty Banner apparently used to work at a suicide hotline place. I actually don't remember that. Uh, maybe I'm just misremembering. Uh, I've unremembered something. I don't know. But anyway, she was friends with this girl who does work at a suicide prevention hotline. Cool, man. Cool. Excuse me. She, um, she gets a call by this guy who's stalking her named Cal. Yeah, I, I, I literally, in my head, I'm like, nope, I don't know what you're talking about in this. Well, if you want to know, <laughs> go and check out um, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This character was there, and he had a real good time <laughs> trying to stomp on the Hulk when he was gray. Hulk ain't gray no more, he's green. Um, so he, <laughs> he had a bit of a surprise, but good times with this enemy, man. Good times, and I was so, so happy to see him being used again. Like, thank you. Peter David, Dale Keon, Keon. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not destroying your name, brother. Uh, creator of Pit. You know what I'm saying? Go check out uh, 10 Things About Pit Explained in a Minute on Comic Book University. Just saying. Bruh, this was a good comic book. This was a good comic book. And it had me, had me, you know, like a couple of choke up moments. Like from the first page, well, maybe the second page. From the second page, had me in a couple of choke up moments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wasn't necessarily fighting back tears, but. Yeah, okay, no, actually I was, I was. Um, <laughs> sitting in the living room, trying to fight back some tears at certain points. This was so good. It's just great to have Peter David back, have Daling, uh, having Dale back. This was a solid issue. And like I said, the worst, the, the most damnable part about this comic book is that it's a one-shot. Come on, man, I thought you was going to be back. We can have just a bunch of random one-shots here and there all over the place. You just telling your stories, man. Drawing your good work, right? And then just let Al Ewing do his thing. I don't mind buying two Hulk comic books, man. Anyway, I, I've been reading Hulk since uh, single digits. You know what I'm saying? Um, single digits my age is what I'm saying. Uh, and this is... This is as good as anything that I've read by the Hulk. I loved this issue. I really wish that we could see more of this. Uh, hey, regrets, right? Go out and get it while you can. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.